Are you looking for the best way to get to Hallstatt, Austria? Well, today in Big Boy Travel, we're gonna go over all the options from car, bus, and train, plus some insider tips. The lakeside village of Hallstatt is our favorite day trip from Salzburg and one of the most beautiful places in Austria, but deciding how to get here can be a little confusing. While we don't recommend renting a car just to get to Hallstatt, if you already have one, it can save you a lot of travel time and eliminate some hassle with your luggage. Compared to the bus and train options, having a car will save you two hours from Munich, a half an hour from Vienna, and over an hour from Salzburg, bringing your travel time to just one hour and 15 minutes. Most visitors won't have a car, so this video is going to go over all the bus and train options to get to Hallstatt, plus we have a companion guide with a detailed map of all the routes available on our website, bigboytravel.com. If you are traveling between Salzburg and Vienna by train, it can be tempting to pop down to Hallstatt along the way, but because it brings your total travel time to almost 7 hours, we really don't recommend it. Hallstatt is best seen as an easy day trip from Salzburg, and we prefer to take the bus there followed by the train to get back. This video will cover our round trip recommendation from Salzburg in great detail, but overall the bus is faster, cheaper, and compared to the train which drops you off on the wrong side of the lake requiring a ferry ride, the bus continues through town and lets you see the ice cave. You will begin your journey to Hallstatt at the main bus depot in Zutiroler Platz in front of Salzburg's train station. The bus you need to look for to get to Hallstatt is number 150, which leaves from bin F and is marked with its final destination of Bad Ischl. Bus 150 leaves Salzburg Station twice an hour starting early every morning at 5.55 a.m. except for Sundays when it doesn't start until 8.15. Make sure to bring snacks or breakfast for the bus and remember that there's a full grocery store located just inside the train station. Tickets to Hallstatt are around 15 euros which you can buy from the outdoor machine or pay the driver in cash as you board the bus. If needed, the driver can also help you store your luggage in the large bins below the seats. The first leg of the bus route to Hallstatt will bring you through the famous Salzkammergut district which has some of the most beautiful scenery in Austria. In addition to being quicker and cheaper than the train, this scenery is one of the main reasons why we love taking the bus. 90 minutes after leaving Salzburg, bus 150 will arrive at Bad Ischl station where you will transfer to bus 542 toward Hallstatt. There is a 20 minute layover between buses in Bad Ischl, but the transfer is very easy as you only have to walk from stall E over to nearby stall C. During your layover, make sure to double check the bus schedules and consider visiting the inside of the small Bad Ischl station, which has staff, a ticket booth, and a bathroom. While you wait, it can be tempting to hop on the local train to Hallstatt, but remember that the train drops you off on the wrong side of the lake from the village requiring a ferry ride, while the bus brings you into town quicker and sets you up better to visit either the ice cave or the salt mine to start your day. We will cover the train option in great detail later in this video on our return back to Salzburg. Heading back over to Stahl C, it's now time to get on bus 542. You'll notice that bus 542 is marked for its final destination of Gozauzi and we'll be transferring for a second and final time along the way to reach Hallstatt. After a 20 minute ride from Bad Ischl, you will reach the Gozalmula bus stop where you and likely everyone else will be switching from bus 542 to bus 543 for the final 10 minute ride into Hallstatt. Although you only have 5 minutes to transfer at the Gozalmula stop, it is extremely easy even with luggage as the two buses park right next to each other. It's exciting as you start seeing Lake Hallstatt poking out from behind the trees. Compared to the train and ferry option which drop you off on the north side of Hallstatt, Bus 543 will get you there a little bit quicker and you'll arrive on the south side of town at Hallstatt's main bus station called Hallstatt Lahn. From here you can either stay on bus 543 which continues on to the ice cave or get out and explore the village. Hallstatt Lahn has amazing views of town, but it is also convenient as it's close to the salt mine visitor center. At the visitor center you can sign up for a tour of the historic salt mines or use the luggage lockers to store your bags. A quick ride up the funicular from the visitor center brings you to the top of Salt Hill where you can take your salt mine tour. Make sure to check out our website, bigboytravel.com, where you can find a full guide on the Hallstatt salt mine tours. We also have a YouTube video covering what you can expect on your tour in greater detail. Even if you don't take the salt mine tour, you can still visit the amazing Rudolf Tower restaurant at the top of the hill which has stunning views, plus the World Heritage Skywalk which literally hangs right over the top of Hallstatt. Because you rode the bus to get here, it even helps you beat a lot of the crowds. 
While the salt mine area of town is amazing, one of the main advantages of taking the bus in the Hallstatt is the easy access it gives you to see the ice cave and five fingers on top of nearby Dockstein Mountain. The best way to reach the ice cave is to stay on bus 543 instead of getting out when it stops at Hallstatt Lawn. After leaving town, the bus does an easy loop around the south side of the lake, through Obertraun, and up to the Dockstein Visitor Center in less than 15 minutes. The Dockstein Visitor Center is where you will buy your ticket for the cable car up to the ice cave. They also have a limited amount of bag lockers for your luggage. As you rise above the valley below, the view from the Dockstein cable car is very impressive. For many visitors, the ice cave is the ultimate highlight for their tour of Hallstatt. Just like the salt mine tours, you can find a full guide on the Hallstatt ice cave on our website, bigboytravel.com. Getting to Dockstein early by bus gives you time to ride up to the second level of the cable car where you can have lunch at the Dockstein Lodge restaurant and hike over to the Five Fingers Lookout. From the lodge, it's about a 20 minute hike to reach the Five Fingers and it's worth every minute. Sprawling over the cliffside one mile above Lake Hallstatt, you really have to come see the breathtaking views at the Five Fingers. After admiring the alpine panoramas from every angle and taking plenty of photos, you can follow the cable car line back down to the Dockstein Visitor Center the same way you came up. Make sure to wait in the parking lot in front of the Visitor Center so you can catch bus 543 back down to the village of Hallstatt. While it is possible to tour both the ice cave and salt mine in one really long day, you'll likely have to choose between the two in the morning followed by a walk through Old Town Hallstatt in the afternoon. From the Hallstatt Lawn bus stop, you can take our self-guided walking tour of town which follows an easy path along the lake and the entire village is only one mile long. As you head north toward the ferry dock for your eventual return back to Salzburg, you are funneled into Hallstatt's gorgeous market square. The square's colorful buildings are very beautiful but nearby are a few historic restaurants that have amazing views of the lake. One of the local delicacies in Hallstatt is its famous whitefish. Before leaving town, make sure to check out the Bone House at Michael's Chapel, which has over 600 painted human skulls. The most famous viewpoint of Hallstatt is also along the lake not far from the ferry dock. With an amazing day in Hallstatt behind you, now it's time to get on the Stephanie Ferry to catch the train back to Salzburg. The ferry runs 365 days a year, and the final route for the day leaves at 6.15pm just in time to meet the last train. You pay the captain the couple euro fare as you board the boat, and the views while you glide across the lake are absolutely stunning. Safely across the lake, it's only a short walk up to the tiny Hallstatt station. Lines to buy tickets can be quite long, so we like to buy ours ahead of time on the Austrian national train website called Obebe. We have a link to it on our guide at bigboytravel.com. You can save some money by buying your ticket days in advance, and there are flexible options if you don't want to commit to a specific departure time. 90 minutes after leaving Hallstatt, you'll arrive in Ottenheim Puchheim where you make your only train transfer needed to return back to either Salzburg or Vienna. Having arrived in Ottenheim Puchheim on track number 5, you'll take the escalator downstairs and only have to move over one bin to meet your departing train. Trains to Salzburg will leave from track number 3 and trains to Vienna will leave from the neighboring track number 2. You'll have 10 to 20 minutes between trains and we love how modern the station is. In case you were doing the entire journey to and from Hallstatt by train, there are a number of bag lockers located on the lower level of the Ottenheim Puchheim station. Remember that all the trains leaving from track number 3 are going to Salzburg, so pay close attention to the time on your ticket. If you get on the wrong train, you may have to pay for a full ticket again. The train from Ottenheim Puchheim will take 50 minutes to get to Salzburg, or 2 hours to get to Vienna. Arriving back in Salzburg station, take the escalator downstairs and follow the signs for Zutirolaplatz, where we originally started our round trip journey to Hallstatt. From the square, you can catch the public bus or a quick taxi back to Old Town Salzburg. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for free to see even more upcoming videos from Big Boy Travel. In addition to our How to Get the Hallstatt guide, you can follow our self-guided walking tours of Salzburg and Hallstatt for free on our website, bigboytravel.com. Thank you again for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'll see you again soon.